Hey everybody, I'm here today with a video on the GoPro Hero 8 Black Action Camera. In this video, I'll be showing you and telling you how to transfer your videos to your computer. In addition to the videos, you can transfer the photos and the time lapses and stuff like that. This will be a super easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. So as you can see right here, I have my GoPro Hero 8 black action camera, and I have the cable that came with the camera, okay? So basically, I'm gonna start basically from scratch. So you're gonna obviously have your battery door closed right there. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna open your battery door by sliding that tab, opening that up. Then you are going to connect this end of the cable, and this is the same cable that you use to charge it, and the same port that you use to charge it. So connect one end of the cable right over there into that portion right there, and then the other end is the USB part of the cable, and we're gonna go and we're gonna connect that to the computer. So let's go ahead and just angle our camera upwards. I just have a Chromebook right here. You can do this with a PC, Chromebook, whatever you're using is totally fine. It should work fine with either one. So I've just connected the USB there and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on the camera okay this is where a lot of people go wrong they leave the camera off and they're wondering why it's not working I'm going to turn on the camera so we've turned on the camera and what should happen now is it should actually uh, recognize that the USB is connected and as you can see we've now opened up a screen over there I'll angle it up in just a moment just give me one quick moment so as you can see here I'll try and get you a better angle what's popped up is basically just um, uh, the actual uh, the actual folder of the micro SD card on the camera so it's actually taking me directly into the Hero 8 black folder and the DCIM part of the folder, just so it's clear. So we're in DCIM right now, and to get into where the video files are, we need to double click this 100 GoPro, okay? And now as you can see, we have all of the MP4s, okay? So just as you can see right there, we have access to all of the MP4s, which is essentially um, all of the video files. And then you can have JPEGs for picture files and so forth, okay? So it's that easy, but let me show you something, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, let me actually close this over here. We're gonna remove that. I'll just close this computer for now so it doesn't sort of get in the way. I'm gonna tell you, show you a setting that I changed that, that allowed me to do that because I couldn't connect it at first, okay? So so what I did was, let me close that. I turned on the camera and at first it wouldn't connect. Let me just uh, make it upright. At first it wouldn't connect, right? So what I did was I went into the preferences. So I swiped down, I tapped preferences. I went to connections. Just give me one second over here. I don't know if it's gonna show any information. No, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't gonna show like the Wi-Fi network that I'm connected to or anything like that. So as you can see, there's wireless connections, which are off connect device or USB connection. Now, and camera info, and there's whatever else is here, right? Like I said, I wanted to make sure there's nothing revealing. Um, for USB connection, when I tapped that, it was actually set to GoPro Connect before, and it wasn't working for me on this Chromebook. So I changed it to MTP, and it worked wonders. It just worked absolutely wonderfully, okay? It just worked really well. Um, and essentially, that's how you transfer your video files. So when you have those video files on the computer and your photo files, you can then copy them and paste them and just sort of, you know, do whatever you want with them. In addition, you can actually use the micro SD card. So I can actually, oops, <laughs> I'll fix that later. I can actually remove the battery door, just open the battery door, remove the battery, and I can remove the actual micro SD card, okay? A little bit harder to do when I'm looking through a screen. There we go, I think I almost got it. There we go, oops. So I can remove the micro SD card and I can actually place this inside of an SD card reader, a micro SD card reader. And that will allow me to essentially um, just connect it directly to the computer and grab the files from the micro SD card. If you don't have a micro SD card reader, you can actually get an SD card adapter that accepts a micro SD card and then converts it to an SD card. And then it'll work with a regular SD card reader, okay? So that's basically, that is essentially how to transfer your video files um, from your GoPro Hero 8 black action camera to your computer. Like I said, once you see the files, the video and photo files on the computer, then all that you actually need to do is copy, select them, copy them, paste them, cut them, whatever you're gonna do. You can then do whatever you want with them at that point, okay? You can grab them, put them on a USB stick, whatever you wanna do with them. That's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.